Hello everybody, I continue talking about uh, CKD and uh, our seminar today is entitled Management of Hypertension in Patients with Chronic Kidney Disease. Of course, here in the management of CKD, we need to reduce the cardiovascular risk uh, we need to slow the rate of the chronic kidney disease progression and also it's important to avoid uh, any nephrotoxic agent. So in terms of reducing the cardiovascular risk, uh, we follow the KDGO guidelines and the KDGO uh, abbreviation is for kidney disease improving global outcomes. So according to KDGO guidelines, uh, adults suffering from uh, chronic kidney disease and at the same time they have high blood pressure, we need to make the systolic blood pressure below 140 and also it's important that the diastolic blood pressure is below 90. Now, adults uh, who have chronic kidney disease and an ACR above 30 milligram per gram or uh, an albumin excretion rate uh, of at least uh, 30 milligram per 24 hour, the systolic blood pressure should be below 130 and the diastolic blood pressure should be below 80. So, patients who have hypertension and chronic kidney disease, uh, we can uh, manage the hypertension by uh, an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, for example, ramipril, or by an angiotensin receptor blocker, for example, candisartan. So whether we use an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker, uh, this is expected to prevent the progression of the CKD to an advanced stage. So again, uh, the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor or the angiotensin receptor blocker is considered a phase-line therapy in patients with a chronic kidney disease and at the same time they are suffering from diabetes mellitus and the blood pressure is above 130 or over 80 and the ACR is above 3 mg per millimole and also if they, they are suffering from proteinuria or what we call diabetic nephropathy. So the ACEI or the angiotensin receptor blocker can decrease the progression of chronic kidney disease uh, uh, in patients who are normotensive, who are diabetic, and who have an ACR above 3 mg per millimole. Now the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor or angiotensin receptor blocker is a phase line for a patient with a CKD when the blood pressure is above the target and uh, there is no diabetes mellitus but the ACR is persistently above 30 mg per millimole. Now after two weeks of initiating the ACEI or ARB therapy it's important to monitor uh, the serum level of potassium and creatinine and also to monitor the glomerular filtration rate. And also we need to monitor hyperkalemia and if there is any significant decrease in the glomerular filtration rate. Now if there is a significant decrease in the glomerular filtration rate or if the serum creatinine exceeds 30 percent, uh, this actually may suggest that the patient is suffering from volume depletion 
or he is using an NSAID, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or possibly the patient is suffering from renovascular disease. So hyperkalemia can be managed by restricting the dietary potassium and uh, or by using uh, a thiazide diuretic like uh, hydrochlorothiazide or a loop diuretic like furosemide. So the combination of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor with angiotensin receptor blocker is contraindicated. Why? Because this combination may induce acute kidney injury and the combination may induce severe hyperkalemia and the combination does not have any cardiovascular benefit and it does not reduce the mortality rate. So the bottom line of this presentation, optimizing a blood pressure with an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor or an angiotensin receptor blocker in patients with chronic kidney disease may prevent the progression of a chronic kidney disease and its complications. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.